Hey, how's it going? It's Jim from Corbin Sound here with Ableton Quick Tip number 10, Search Bar. The search bar is used to help navigate your file directories quicker and also help us to find our favourite plugins and most used samples. To find the search bar, we simply go to the top left hand corner and find the search bar underneath our project settings. Whilst the category or folder is highlighted, Ableton will look for any keywords you enter in the search bar and present them to you. Let's for example go hunting for a 909 drum kit and type in 909 into the search bar. Now every kit that has 909 in its name inside of Ableton will be available for me to check out and preview. The search feature is also looking for anything inside our available packs, which you can download from your Ableton account online or directly inside Live 10. We can see this by right clicking show in places and our packs folder down here will then unravel itself to reveal where this 909 Trezor kit has been located. From our third party plugins, I might have a large number that can be tedious to scroll through. Using a search feature, I can quickly find the plugin I want. Here I've entered in Moog, and I can go and grab Moog Multi Mode Filter. And there we go. Not only can you quickly identify plugin or instrument names from the search bar, but if we click on samples, every sample from inside Ableton's factory library and our PAX library will be available for us to scroll through. Let's go and search kick. From these hundreds of kicks, as you can see here, we can also narrow down the ones we have used the most in our productions, which can be great at identifying common sounds you may wish to have as staple signifiers of your style. Simply control a right click name in the browser content pane and activate rank. Now you can see which sounds named Kick you have used the most across all of your projects in Ableton Live. Here you can easily see that the ones that I've used the most so far have been this Kick Tracks, Click Layer, Topaz, 909, and going down in descending order from there. Your own custom libraries and samples won't be mixed in with Ableton's library when searching for content until you choose to search from them. This is done by clicking on the file directory in places. Here I have my sample catalog, which I've amassed over time. If I go and click on that, you can clearly see that kick is still being searched for, but now we're looking inside my sample catalog. And I can go through and search from this folder here, keep going until we find a kick folder and a bunch of kicks as well. And as you can see, they too are ranked. And that's it. If you've liked today's video, be sure to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when our next video drops. Thanks for watching. See you soon.